Whose idea was this? I initially mentioned it to Tay. I was like, how funny would it be <laughs> if I just like rolled out on one of the bikes during uh, the 1989? You killed it. You got a lot of help. Are you kidding me? I was up there with three professionals, okay? And and there, you can do no wrong when Taylor's on stage. <laughs> Golden rule was do not drop Taylor. Get her to the couch safe. Do not hold on to the baby. The one thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. <laughs> hold on to the baby. No hold fumbles. on to the baby. Hold on to the Yeah. Coach B enemy always used to say that ball has our dreams, goals, and aspirations. You do not drop that ball. <laughs> I don't know how, but your body is at a 45 degree angle. Take a picture of this halfway through a jump. They aren't landing that. That's that takes some skill. Hey gossip lovers, buckle up because today's episode is packed with the juiciest celebrity scandals and shockers you won't want to miss. First up, Travis Kelsey is finally spilling the beans on his surprise cameo at Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, and trust me, the details are sizzling. And speaking of surprises, did Kelsey actually predict this moment way back in 2014? An old tweet has fans going wild. In other news, Taylor and Travis's whirlwind romance is heating up, with experts weighing in on why their relationship is so electrifying. Plus, Swifties are buzzing over Taylor's plans to cheer for Travis from the NFL sidelines this season. Talk about touchdown love. But the drama doesn't stop there. Kylie Kelsey is gushing over her VIP experience in London, rubbing elbows with the matchmakers who brought Taylor and Travis together. And hold on to your hats. Kim Kardashian might be ready to bury the hatchet with Taylor after the release of her latest album, but will Taylor play along? Stay tuned for all the scandalous details. Moment with Taylor Swift After weeks of speculation, Travis is finally dishing the deets on his surprise appearance during Taylor's Eras Tour. The Chiefs player turned internet sensation took to his New Heights podcast, teasing fans with what's sure to be the season 2 finale's juiciest episode yet. We gotta talk about it, teased Travis's co-host and brother Jason in a recent teaser. Travis, ever the good sport, responded with a resounding, let's do it. The duo had already touched on their London adventures, including Jason's tearful reaction to Swift's earlier shows, but it was Travis's unscripted cameo on stage in a top hat and tailcoat that set tongues wagging. But on night three, something magical happened that I think <laughs> every somehow you made your way onto the era stage. She started laughing. She was like, would you, would you seriously be up for like doing something like that? And I was just like, are you what? She, she found the perfect, perfect part of the show for me to come in. I've seen the show enough. Might as well put me to work here. Somehow you made your way onto the era stage. Jason chuckled in the teaser, hinting at the behind the scenes drama. The football star, who's been dating Taylor for nearly a year now, didn't hold back on the podcast, sharing candidly about witnessing Swift's epic performance firsthand. If I did what she did for one song, I'd have to change my clothes, Travis quipped, highlighting the sheer intensity of Swift's 45-song marathon sets. And when it comes to their relationship, Travis made it clear he's all in. That's my girl, you know what I mean? That's my lady, he proudly declared addressing the challenges of dating one of the world's most famous singers while navigating the public eye. Stay tuned as Travis spills more tea on his Eras Tour escapade, proving once again that when it comes to mixing sports stardom with showbiz, this power couple is just getting started. Even before this happened, that's a great tune. Dude. I'm so depressed I act like it's my birthday hey. every day. Nice. It worked. You guys killed it. It was an absolute blast. It was so fun to watch. And it was the dumb and dumber Jim Carrey, like Oh <laughs> yes. And then just uh just made sure <laughs> I played with Tay and got her makeup right. Travis Kelsey's prediction? In a twist that has Swifties everywhere buzzing, it seems Travis might have predicted his own starring moment at Taylor's Eras Tour. The Kansas City Chiefs star, who made headlines with his surprise appearance on stage in London, had fans digging deep into his Twitter history after an old tweet resurfaced. Back in 2014, Kelsey tweeted, I just want to have permanent background dancers to my life. Ha ha, they make singers look so good. Little did he know, fast forward to 2024, and there he was, decked out in a tailcoat and top hat, grooving alongside Swift's backup dancers and even lending a hand to powder her face during I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. 
Mission accomplished. Do not fuck this up, Travis. That was my number one goal. This is solid and brought out this old tweet from Travis Kelsey. I just want to have permanent background dancers to my life. They, haha, they make singers look so cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for all that. Maybe not uh, every day, but maybe certain situations. Uh, tweeted, Dear Taylor Swift, you have an incredible show, an amazing and very hospitable team, an excellent, if gigantic, boyfriend. I mean, it wasn't just Hugh. It was Tom Cruise. It was Ashley Kutcher. And uh, Mila. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yep. Yeah. They were, and everybody was having fun in that tent. Let me tell you. Everybody. Him, I've, met, I've been fortunate to meet him and his brother this offseason, and both of them just don't disappoint. They just seem like the coolest guys. The tweet quickly went viral, with fans dubbing Kelsey the king of manifestation for seemingly calling his shot years in advance. Responses flooded in, urging Kelsey to discuss this cosmic coincidence on his New Heights podcast. Hey, New Heights, this is a great starting point for the next We Gotta Talk About London podcast, one eager fan tweeted. This isn't the first time Kelsey's Twitter antics have stolen the spotlight. From feeding squirrels to lamenting about losing his phone, his past posts have always been a hit with Swift's eagle-eyed fans. But now, with his electrifying cameo cemented in pop culture history, Kelsey's social media oracle status just leveled up. Uh, did you ever think in a million years you'd be a backup dancer? Dude, I've always been a fan of, of, of dancers. One thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. Do not <laughs> drop Taylor on your way over this damn couch. No Hold fumbles. Hold on to the baby. Hold on to the baby. <laughs> yeah. Coach B. Enemy always used to say that ball has our dreams, goals, and aspirations. You do not drop that ball. <laughs> I don't know how, but your body is at a 45 degree angle. Take a picture of this halfway through a jump. They aren't landing that. That's That takes some skill. Love, fame, and the Eras Tour. Taylor and Travis are lighting up the headlines yet again with their whirlwind romance, punctuated by Kelsey's daring antics on Swift's Eras Tour. From surprise appearances on stage to romantic getaways around the globe, this power couple is giving us all the feels. According to body language expert Judy James, Swift clearly loves Kelsey's larger-than-life presence, which contrasts sharply with her previous relationships. James notes how Kelsey's comfort in the spotlight adds a dynamic flair to their partnership, reducing the usual tensions that come with fame. During Swift's London and Dublin shows, Kelsey didn't just play the supportive boyfriend role, he stole the show. Decked out in a dapper tailcoat and top hat, he strutted his stuff on stage, charming Swifties everywhere. Videos captured tender moments backstage where Kelsey proudly cheered on Swift and even directed cheers from adoring fans towards her. James points out that while Kelsey revels in the limelight, Swift reciprocates his affection with gestures that speak volumes about their commitment. From laughing together to grabbing his bicep in a gesture of intimacy, their connection seems solid amidst the dazzle of stadium lights. For Swift, who's no stranger to navigating fame, Kelsey's embrace of public attention could be a refreshing change. Unlike past relationships where privacy was paramount, Kelsey's enthusiasm for sharing their love story seems to complement Swift's own approach to fame. As their romance continues to capture hearts worldwide, fans await the next chapter in this celebrity love saga. With Kelsey by her side, Swift seems to have found a partner who not only supports her, but shines alongside her, making every moment on and off stage a memorable one. Taylor Swift's Touchdown Taylor Swift isn't just a chart-topping superstar, she's also gearing up to be a sideline cheerleader for her beau Travis during the upcoming NFL season. Despite her busy tour schedule, which wraps up in December, Swift plans to attend as many Kansas City Chiefs games as possible, according to insiders. Football is definitely still his priority, but so is his relationship, shared a source close to the couple, highlighting Kelsey's return to training camp this July and the Chiefs' first game in September against the Baltimore Ravens. Swift, known for her unwavering support, has already shown her dedication by jetting from Tokyo to Las Vegas to catch Kelsey's Super Bowl triumph earlier this year. While Kelsey has been on a break from the NFL, he's been globetrotting to join Swift on tour, making headlines with surprise appearances on stage in London and Dublin. Their chemistry on stage has been a hit with fans, with insiders revealing they loved being on stage together, he is confident and fun, and it was one of her tour highlights. 
Despite their hectic schedules, Swift and Kelsey continue to prioritize their relationship, exchanging romantic gestures to stay connected when apart. From cozy dinners with music icon Stevie Nicks to impromptu stage cameos, this dynamic duo seems to have found a winning playbook for balancing fame, love, and football. As the Eras Tour heads towards its grand finale in Vancouver, Canada, fans can expect Swift to continue her touchdown celebrations in the stands, proving that when it comes to love and support, she's always game. Kim Kardashian Ready Kim Kardashian appears to be waving the white flag in her ongoing feud with Taylor, following the release of Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. The track, Thank You Amy, has sparked fresh speculation about their rocky relationship, with fans dissecting lyrics that seem aimed at Kardashian. According to insiders, Kardashian is reportedly over it and believes Swift should move on from the past drama. The source revealed, she doesn't understand why Taylor keeps bringing it up, it's been years. The song's lyrics, which touch on themes of bullying and healing, have been interpreted as Swift's way of addressing her turbulent history with the Skims mogul. Their feud erupted publicly in 2016, over Kanye West's controversial lyrics in Famous, claiming Swift owed her fame to him. Kardashian then released edited snippets of a phone call between West and Swift, escalating tensions. Despite Kardashian's attempts to move past the feud publicly, Swift's artistic expressions continue to reignite the conversation. Swift's latest album not only revisits past controversies, but also reflects on personal growth and resilience. The singer has openly discussed the emotional toll of the feud, describing it as psychologically damaging and revealing its impact on her personal life and career. As the tortured poet's department marks a cathartic release for Swift, it seems Kardashian is ready to leave the feud behind, hoping for closure and mutual respect. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you next time.